Florida Hospital Tampa emergency room doctors see over 70,000 emergencies a year. That's why Florida Hospital Tampa's new Doc First ER is making a difference in the lives of patients and families in Tampa Bay. Since the new ER opened its doors last year in November of 2014, thousands of families have experienced seeing the doctor first. Not only is this a new reimagined way to deliver emergency care, it comes with less stress and more attention to your needs. I spoke with Dr. Wenzel Tierheimer, who was one of the ER doctors caring for patients at Florida Hospital Tampa. He explains how the new Doc First method compares to the average ER visit patients may be familiar with. In the typical emergency department, you'll walk into the waiting room where there will already be a bunch of patients waiting to get called back into the, into the ER. Uh, you'll walk up to a window and write down your name and chief complaint on a sign-up sheet and then sit down and wait to be called up. Uh, you'll get called up to see a triage nurse and then a registration clerk. You'll go sit back down in the waiting area again and after more waiting, you'll get called back into the emergency department uh, to your treatment room uh, where you'll be seen by a tech and a nurse. You'll wait more and then you'll be seen by the emergency physician who will then order all the appropriate tests and medications. So the Doc First method turns the whole process upside down. Instead of seeing the doctor at the end of the encounter, you see the doctor first. It's been a huge satisfier and not only do the patients love it, uh, the physicians love it too. Um, because not only does it improve the patient experience, it also improves the patient safety. ER visits are often filled with a lot of anxiety, and it really does decrease the patient's anxiety level greatly to be able to see a physician right away. Um, in addition, it's really nice to have the patients be able to see me first, because very often it's difficult to determine if the patient has an urgent medical condition, or if they have one of those seconds to minutes emergencies where every minute counts, and it's really wonderful to be able to identify those patients right away uh, when they come in. But it's not only a new approach you'll find at Florida Hospital Tampa. You'll also find a new state-of-the-art emergency room as well. Our new emergency department opened uh, the first week of November and uh, it doubles the size of our old emergency department. Florida Hospital made about a 55 million dollar investment in the community in building our new emergency department. We have 48 private patient rooms with uh, an adjacent 12-bed uh, observation area. We have our own dedicated ER radiology area with our own CAT scan, digital x-ray, and ultrasound. And uh, we also have dedicated pediatric rooms. The new ER was designed specifically to provide the highest level of care with less waiting and less stress. When you come in through the ambulance entrance, our big resuscitation suites are right at the ambulance entrance. So the sickest patients can get put in a room right outside of the ambulance bay. Um, in addition, scattered throughout the emergency department, we have isolation rooms uh, for patients who have uh, infectious diseases as well as those with compromised immune systems. A trip to the ER can be especially stressful on children, but Florida Hospital Tampa thought about that too. So in our, in our pediatrics area, uh, our pediatrics area is staffed by a pediatrician and all of our pediatrics rooms are filled with something called the Philips Ambient Experience. So they're soft, relaxing lights, uh, nature scenes that get projected on the walls and relaxing sounds. And these serve to decrease the patient's anxiety and pain levels and actually decrease the amount of pain medication patients need. There is also an ICU tower located above the ER. The critically ill patients are the ones you want to move around the least, so it's really nice to be able to just load them into an elevator and have them come out and be able to enter their room without a prolonged transport time. The new Doc First method is getting great response from patients. We do get feedback from our patients after they leave, and uh, universally the Doc First process has been very popular. When I've seen patients out in triage, they've seemed really, really happy to see a physician right away. Um, and for example, the chest pain patient, when they find that their EKG looks normal right away when they walk in, it's, it's a big anxiety reliever. And so I think patients are really happy with the process. Clearly, the patients love the new system, but how did the staff react to this upside down method? Well, initially there was a lot of discomfort with changing something that we've always done. But 
when a system works the way Doc first does, people begin to embrace it. So everybody that works there is really excited about the process. Dr. Tierheimer explained how it was patient feedback that prompted these changes. Well, we actually listened to what our patients wanted. Uh, they did some uh, market research and found out that this is what patients really wanted. And after looking into it, it ended up seeming like a really good idea. And when patients get what they want, they, they're easier to treat, they're easier to care for. Florida Hospital Tampa is located on the corner of Bruce B. Downs Boulevard and Fletcher Avenue. For more information, log on to DocFirstER.com. Did you know Florida Hospital Tampa's new Doc First ER has a new ambulance bay that accommodates up to six ambulances at one time if needed? Up next, we'll show you how Florida dental implants are improving lives in just one day. Physician's Corner, brought to you by Florida Hospital. While you never planned for an emergency, we do. Florida Hospital has five emergency rooms across Tampa Bay, including a brand new one here at Florida Hospital Tampa. Knowing when to go to an emergency room can save your life. You should seek immediate medical attention if you experience any of the following symptoms. Chest pain of any kind, even if you think it's only heartburn. It could be the sign of a heart attack. A persistent pain that wakes you up or you can't sleep through. Any loss of sight, speech, or the ability to move, as these could be signs of a stroke and should be diagnosed right away. All of our ER doctors are board certified in emergency medicine and they are available to see you 24 hours a day. To find a physician or to learn more, visit FloridaHospitalER.org.